Hi, I'm busy homosexual Dean Arcuri and welcome to my bed. Today we're getting Between the Sheets with Matthew Shepard. Hey, hey. And Robbie Latour. Howdy. Now, guys, I don't know if you know this, but I have never been on a date. I am single. I tell everyone all the time, how can I find someone? So I thought we'd make this session in my bed today about me, because I never do that. Yeah. And you could help me. How do I find someone? I'm going to die alone. How, how do you meet people nowadays? Now, Robbie, you're married. I am married, Jean, and thank you for finally bringing this up. <laughs> you never talk about this, and I'm really glad that you've been All the time. brave enough to, to raise this issue. Um, I am married. I've been married for, I've been married for legally since, since I've been allowed, but I've been with my partner for 11, nearly 11 years oh now. Um, 11 years? So I don't wow. know how much I can help you with when dating. When did you meet? <laughs> Were you youngins when you met? We were young, yeah, 20, 22, 23. Where did you get together? How did you meet? You, was it out on the town? Was it at minus 18? No, uh, see, now this is the <laughs> intro. Uh, we met in a nightclub, which is um, how the kids used to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and ever, and when, I, when I met my husband, it was pre-apps, pre-dating, pre-online you know online dating, pre any of that sort of stuff. There's a little bit of sort of desktop computer stuff, but you know, no, but nobody was <laughs> really <hunt>. using that. Um, <laughs> So this entire phenomenon of dating on apps and, you know, using all the... It confuses me. I have no idea what's going on. I am on. confounded by it so the much. It's literally just like ordering a pizza. You just, you know, <laughs> dial it in and then, and then bring them back in and you're like, yep, cool, done, see you later. If it's only like, it was as satisfying as ordering and eating a pizza, then I wouldn't have this problem. <laughs> just get I, no cheese. I get completely confused by the apps. Maybe it's the pictures I use. Maybe it's the writing I have. But I remember the good old days when you had the phone lines when you'd have to try and meet <laughs> someone or you had the little M, M seeking men, M for men in the newspaper in the classified <laughs> and you'd write a letter and that was some interesting courtship I mean it led me to have some <laughs> very interesting paths as a young person but I want to get back to that because I find the apps completely confusing what happened to wooing where's the wooing gone in our lives now I think and I mean again I'm speaking as we're speaking as You're people who aren't really bed, <laughs> great at this but I think it's become too easy it's yeah. become so easy that nobody can kind of be bothered following through anymore. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I'm hearing. I agree, hundred percent, hundred percent. So you're saying I ha I'm too easy? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> you hundred percent. That's that's not what's come back to me. Now, Matt, you're in that you're you're single like me. Are you as concerned as I am that I'm going to die alone? No, I'm happily single. <laughs> like, uh, I, I I just again order a pizza and then <laughs> piss them off. Like. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, I'm sorry, but yes. Um, I don't know, like, I think people just try too hard, and if it happens, it happens. But I mean, if you've never dated before, that's a little bit alarming. Well, this is when, no, I've never been on a date. I've okay. been in relationships, but that's when we've kind of fallen into bed, and then they've never left, and suddenly we've been together for three months. But I've never actually been on a date. This mm. is why I think the wooing would be interesting. Like, no, I don't want someone to bring me roses or open a car door <laughs> for me, but... But the idea that you actually go to dinner and meet someone by talking mm. and getting to know them and not just shagging them immediately after. Like, it's just, mm. it's a whole new world that I've never gotten to be a part of. And I remember when we used to chat on computers, you mm. know, like, the apps, as much as you say it makes everything easier, I feel like it makes it all ten times harder because everyone's always looking, oh, for the next piece of garlic bread that they can get exactly instead right. of, or oh, what's the side auto that you can get with your yeah. pizza, yeah. instead of what's right in front of you. And I'm a catch, people. <laughs> I'm a huge catch. Not saying I'm a big person, but you know, I am. <laughs> but I'm a big catch and I can just nev never make that right connection. And I'm going to keep mentioning it as every week on Joy with you <laughs> until I find the one. <laughs> Please don't forget, Dean is single. Yes. Um, so what tip what have you got for me then? Oh. What tips can I give you? I can tell you how to s stay with someone for how 10 years. How to keep years. a man. <laughs> well, you're, you're the Allegedly. married one. You're happily married. How do you keep a man, Robbie? Uh, a lot of patience <laughs> and a lot of uh, compromise. Oh, okay. I mean, I think I'd be good at compromise, but no one's ever given me the opportunity. <laughs> they just always do whatever I say. Yeah. I, I don't know what else I, have to, I can do. <laughs> Maybe it's me, but I don't think it is. I'm going to be really honest. Be, I yeah. don't think it's, it's me. It's everybody else. So you guys have no advice for me and Maybe. apps are failing us all. Is that Maybe what? because you're such a, I don't know, a huge beacon in our community. Maybe you just need to step back and hibernate away for a few months and then come out new and refreshed and be like, oh my God, who is this Dina Curie? So, who is this man? So <laughs> your advice is to go away. Go basically. away. <laughs> yes. 
be there's seen less. <laughs> I think okay. there's, there's trips to the moon coming up soon, isn't there? Oh my god! Yeah, just, yeah <laughs> hop on over. You know, not, if I logged off of Facebook and no one saw me for a while, everything would be fine. So be less me is basically <laughs> your best advice for me. Yeah. I mean, I reckon we're on a one-way path for me <laughs> never finding anybody and spending the rest of my life alone. But apps have made everything more confusing, haven't they? They've, they've made it a lot harder. So I'm going to put a challenge out there to everybody is to get off your phones, get off your apps, get off your social media and start meeting people face to face. If you think someone's cute, instead of just, you know what, sending them a message after you've seen them out and about, I thought you were cute, or sending them a wolf or a tap or mm. whatever it is you do, go on over and actually say, hi, how are you doing? Can I buy you a drink? Or I think your necklace looks great. Give a person a compliment. You don't have to have a huge conversation, but just reach out. Reach out and touch somebody. But not like that. Consent <laughs> is really important. Consent is really important. I know we're sitting in bed, yeah. but that does matter. So reach out, connect, and do your little bit to change the way we all talk to each other. Mm. This has been Between the Sheets with Dean on Bed TV. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Robbie. We'll see you in bed next time.